hi guys welcome back to another awesome video my name is Nox, and if you are here for the very first time welcome and go ahead and press that subscribe button because we'll talk about everything around employment guys today i want to talk about one thing that most most people do wrong or they don't do right because they don't understand whenever they are applying for positions okay and if you are one of those people that have like a preloaded cv somewhere saved and every time you see a job position you go ahead and press that apply button to submit your cv and you wonder why you are not getting any replies and after you've sent a number of applications and no one is giving you any feedback no one even is even calling you to ask you a few questions just to sort of give you an idea that they are considering or they maybe might shortlist you for that position so guys today i want to talk about um something that is called an applicant tracking system okay so this is a software that is used by most medium to large um companies uh, to actually manage their application or job applications whenever they do have one they also use it to create database all right and the reason why they do that is because they want to save time you guys um they want to streamline their recruitment process so that um this system can do some shortlisting before your CV makes it to an actual person like me who is a recruiter. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna break it down to you because I know it's important that I do share about this because most of you that are not in recruitment are not aware of this system. You might even know because every time you see uh, it's either the company would advertise a position or, you know, it's a company with sort of like a database where they say submit CV or apply or you check positions that are available. And if they are not, there are no positions that are available at the moment, you can actually put your CV through to be saved into their database. Okay. Two things that most people don't understand and are doing very wrong, hence they are not getting checklisted. Number one. I do talk about this on my other video where I say get hired. I'm going to list it at the end of this video so you can go check it out. I do say please do not use one CV, okay, to apply. Like why are you using one CV? Why one CV when you are applying for different positions even though it's in the same field and more likely something that you are doing and it's different companies that phrases their, their job specification or description differently yet you are using one cv so if you are that person that is using one cv please go ahead on the comment section and tell me if you really have one cv and have you been seeing any results using one cv to apply for all positions okay so if you've got one cv what happens is every time you apply this tracking system someone behind takes a job specification and put in keywords to match your the, the job spec to the candidate that they are looking for. So every time you are putting your CV, this machine will scan the CV and would sort of have an idea. Sometimes you get those companies where you submit your CV and it sort of creates a CV for you, formatted CV, using the information that you have given to the system. So you fit the system and then it will generate its own CV of which that's what it just conclude on, okay? number two people are not using the right keywords every field have those keywords that you can miss out okay so whatever field you are in whether you are in finance whatever you are doing there are those key responsibilities or keywords that define your field and you need to get it right this is my advice i mean online application it's the thing you guys i mean you don't have to physically go drop your CV, okay? You can be at home, you can be wherever, you can be on vacation and you can still apply for positions. So this is what you're gonna do to do it right and see the results. Once you've seen the results, please do come back on the comment section and do say if you've got the results. So this is what you're gonna do, you guys. You're gonna get a job specification that is detailed don't be quick to go press apply uploading that cv that you've been sending to 59 companies and you have not gotten any results yet you want to get your job specification you want to read through the job specification you will also see that there are 
in term, in, when it comes to responsibilities, you want to say that there are those responsibilities where they're sort of repeating themselves, they, they're breaking it down and they're saying something and everything is just linked. It gives you an idea of exactly what they are looking for. You want to tweak your CV. Now hear me clear because I don't want you go tweaking CV and you are in HR, here you are and now you're in a medical space and you are applying to be a doctor. No, and that's not what I'm talking about. Same field, you, f you feel you meet the spec 100%. You're going to tweak your CV using exactly the same keywords that they used on the job specification, applying it to your CV. Okay. And when you do that, once you upload online, this machine that tracks and shortlist will see those keywords and you'll pop up on top as the most suitable candidate or close to matching for what they are looking for. And that's how you can get an opportunity to shoot, to be shortlisted. I'm in recruitment and I know we do this. Every time we get a job specification, we go to our database, which has a lot of people, you guys from all walks of life with all the experience you can ever think of with all these qualifications that, hey, people that are very experienced. But what we do when we get to um, that database, we use keywords according to what we are sourcing for. And candidates will show up according to a match. Only those that strongly match to what we are looking for, we only open those CVs. And those are the people that we want to consider. And then we want to shortlist, let's say, five people that we feel they are very strong. And then we want to go submit those people to a hiring manager to have a look at them and then decide who they want to see for an interview. So if you are using wrong keywords or your keywords are not matching to the job specification, okay, you are not going to get shortlisted. You Gonna keep applying and you won't get any results okay once the the hiring manager has decided who they would like to see for an interview or who they're really interested in then we give them a call and we talk briefly about it and just to check if the candidate is is open are they all really on the job market are they really uh, wanting or looking to make a move and then we will take it from there okay so that's one thing you guys need to do i always say easiest jobs to get are those where you get a job specification or it's a pop-up um, position available in that company because they will give you a job description which gives you um, a better chance of being shortlisted because now you know exactly what to, work, to work, what you are working with, okay? Either than uh, in those companies where you just submit your CV because in those ones where it sits on their database, you are really hoping the keywords that they are using are the keywords that you've used so that you can at least show up in their search, okay? So guys, uh, please do this. Cre don't just use one CV. That's my best advice ever. Don't just use one CV. Number two, go back to all those companies where you've loaded your CV and make use of your keywords in your field so that if someone is searching, they would be able to, to, to get your CV. Think, think about it like this. You know what you are doing. You know the experience you have. Use different words in a way that if someone is searching, they would they have a high chance of using these keywords. You can even ask friends. You can, if you are not sure of what keywords, you guys can Google that. You can ask friends. You can ask someone who's senior than you to say, hey, I'm just working on my CV. And that's what most people or most companies that would say to you, we are revamping your CV. Part of revamping, if they are doing a good job in revamping, is actually using the right keywords for the position and the things that you are doing to make sure that whenever you load your CV, at least you can pass this machine so that you can actually get to an actual human being okay like me who can actually have a look at your cv and say oh wow she's good i'm sharing this information because i'm getting a lot of people that are saying nox i've been applying girl my cv looks good i've been applying i'm not getting any responses please do hear me right okay not every not every position that you're gonna apply for online you're gonna get um response on like i said when you you apply this machine scans your cv looking for those keywords and 
you know if they fill you are a match maybe 80 percent or 70 percent to the match according to the job specification that has been loaded all right in the system okay and then only those people so if you are maybe getting 60 percent and they're only considering from 70 percent up there your chances are your cv will be stuck in the machine and you'll be there frustrated because you are pressing apply 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 and you always apply and nothing really comes out of it you are stressed and you just give up and i don't want you to give up okay <laughs> all right you guys i know this was really really helpful if i did not explain it in detail and you feel knocks but i don't understand please do in the comment section so i can do a video strictly on that but guys this machine is something else you guys i can tell you about 70 percent of people that apply online don't do these things right hence they never get any feedback okay they never get contacted they never make it to an actual human being because the machine that is doing the shortlisting will take your cv up there they wouldn't even consider because the keywords are not right and the, the things that they are looking for are not showing on your cv okay so that's very very important guys so now you're gonna go back and work on your cv every time you get a job specification i say this again and it sounds like i'm repeating myself but please do this every time you get a job specification don't be quick to press apply don't be quick to put through your application look at the job specification tweak your cv i'm telling you i'm not saying lie about um responsibilities your experience and things like that don't lie but tweak by using the right keywords or similar keywords as the one on the job specification because i'm a recruiter and i know and i know we do this we take a job specification we take your cv we say ha huh? ha huh? what a match what a match what a match this guy needs to be shortlisted so you need to get that right and definitely you're gonna get right so please go ahead give this video a thumbs up because i just shared some top information right there to make sure at least looking for a job just becomes a little bit easier and i know if you have not subscribed to this channel i don't understand why please do share this video as well okay let's help other people as well otherwise guys i'll see you on another some video